Greetings, brothers and sisters. My name is Linda, and my channel is called Simple Help Now. Thank you for subscribing and listening. We are walking through perilous times, but we are walking together, encouraging one another, praying for one another, and watching for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, in the rapture. Jesus promises to be with us until the end. Matthew 28, 20. I want to thank all of you who have written comments in this channel. You are greatly appreciated. I read those and pray for you. Recently, I watched the movie Before the Wrath. If you haven't seen it, it's free on some platforms and worth watching for this reason, the why of the rapture. I felt it had insight, and if you're wondering if there is a pre-tribulation rapture, this movie may be enlightening. As we traverse this journey together across uncharted waters of these end days, be alert in listening to the Holy Spirit for direction. Keep taking in the Word of God and avoiding entanglements that pull our attention away from Jesus. The world system of politics and powers will not save us. God is directing our attention to His Son, His wonderful answer to all of the concerns of mankind. World events are now very intense, and we are in the end times. Wars and rumors of wars are happening. Our focus must be on the fact that these events are our signposts and not the destination we are headed for. If we were hiking on a trail and saw a sign along the path that said, watch out for bear activity in the area or don't drink the water, would we just stop and stand trembling in fear? No, we would continue moving forward, wiser with the danger and aware of it. We don't want to encounter a bear. We don't want to drink the water. Likewise, we move on in our pursuit of Jesus while waiting. If anything, it will cause us to pray more for protection and covering. I want to share some scriptures and some words I felt the Lord shared with me. Listening, listen carefully to these promises in these scriptures as his beloved people. <clears throat> Psalms 34, by the way, the whole chapter is great, but I will focus on verses 4 through 7 and 9 and 10. Here it is. I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all of my fears. Number five, they looked to him and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed. Number six, the poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Seven, the angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. Number nine, oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. And ten, the young lions suffer, lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Aren't those great? I would suggest printing Psalms 34 out and taking a highlighter and marking the promises. The whole chapter is amazing. Here's what I felt the Lord shared with me. Please test all the words and take it to the Lord. Here it is. The hour is ripe, my children, a fruition of world events that align supernaturally in mankind's eyes, but naturally in my work. All I have ever spoken will come to pass, as it always will. The nations align, the rulers of this age are aligning with my word of what must come to pass. There are three things unfolding, war, famine on the horizon, and my catching away of my bride. The ego of men feel like they are in control, but my spirit is in the driver's seat. When he withdraws, the nation fails. My children are my, in my covering and my life in them and they in me. There is nothing done apart from my will. There is a confidence in knowing I am the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are in me and I am in you and there is safety in that. In life there are hardships and tribulations but in and through you I have overcome the world. The great tribulation is not for my beloved children and bride. She is hidden with Christ and God. The spirit of the Antichrist has been released on the world in greater manifestation, but it will not overtake my church, 
Her life is protected in me. Many storms are arising, so steadfastly keep your eyes on me and not on the storms. Finally, fix your thoughts and hearts fully on my salvation and deliverance, for it is at hand. And that is what I felt he shared. God wants us to stand on his promises in Psalms 34 and other scriptures and fully trust in his plan for deliverance. We are going home. The earth is not our home. So the troubles that cause fear and tribulations are transitory. And even so, Jesus is coming ahead of the storms. He promises to be with us at all times, even to the end of the age. If you are fearful, renounce it. You are his beloved and will be protected. Keep strong. Let's pray together and stand together. Put your prayer requests in the comments if you would like us to pray for you. Beloved, love one another. God be with you. This is Linda with Simple Help Now.